and welcome back and we're moving into our final segment uh, of course great for many of us who overdid over the Easter we are joined by natural health food advocates we have father and daughter team Cornelia Marfield and Gabby Marfield good morning and welcome good morning, good morning. Good morning. thank you so Cornelia, let's just start off by finding out a little bit more about you. You have been advocating for health education and healthy eating for quite some time. What moved you into this direction? That's a good question. Um, I think one is a calling. All my life I have been science-based. So mm -hmm. studying the physiology of the body has always been something of interest to me. Um, Growing up very simple and humble, growing up at an educational level where we used to do a lot of backyard gardening at, um, through the URI program, um, living a very humble and simple life, you, you always seem to eat the things that come readily available in yeah. the backyard. Mm -hmm. So that's a background in terms of growing up, but in terms of studying and understanding this, um, I had a family member who got sick, died prematurely, myself got ill once, and I thought that I wanted to venture more into this field. I taught biology and chemistry for most of my life incidentally, but then I decided to go, after doing a first degree in biology education, go and further some studies in health education, and now I am studying in um, naturopathic nutrition and, 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 okay. and medicine, and that involves a lot of your food is your medicine. So, so going back to <laughs> what food helps what? what illness and encouraging good right. things in your body. Precisely. That's what the whole naturopathic um, yeah. doctoral degree is about. Your food is your medicine. So we have so much illnesses and we are trying to figure out how this food can help us. So today we are focusing on detoxifying food, which is just one classification of food. So this focus not just to treat ailment, but actually to prevent diseases. I'm mm -hmm. glad that you've said that because a lot of us have overindulged over the weekend. <laughs> We had lots to eat and drink, mm -hmm. and we didn't exercise it off. Mm -hmm. We just ate and drank and sat down and slept right after that. Yes, so right. now in terms of trying to... <laughs> You're asking for help? <laughs> in terms what of can trying we do? to remove some of these uh, toxins out of the body, so right. to speak, uh. what do we do? It's, in, it's interesting. Let me just backtrack about toxin. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What is toxin? You know, toxin is more than just the drinks and food. Actually, it's environmental. It's even psychological. When we are mm -hmm. angry, we produce toxins, toxins in our system. Neurotoxin, as you rightfully said. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that we are exposed to. Even the deodorant that has in aluminum, the people who work in factories, um, GMO food, as we were speaking mm -hmm. about, you mm -hmm. know, um, pesticides. So there is so much thing bombarding us. So not just over the holidays. Holiday, the holiday have just added to problems yeah. that have yeah. been in our tissues and cells mm -hmm. for years. So in terms of getting all of these toxins out, you know, I like to use the analogy of the vehicle. You know, every three months, most people, I believe, maintain their vehicle by changing the oil. And there's yeah. a reason for that because you're utilizing it and it's getting, you know, toxic, if I can use yeah. that word, and you want to regenerate the car or person in terms of performance and effectiveness. And so we change oil. So we need to be changing this fluidity of our body. And the toxicity is determined, is determined how often we do that. And so no one program is set for one individual or set of individuals. You have to know what you are doing to your body. But yeah. we all are exposed to this. So we have to continually go in, in getting out, going like a garbage collector, yeah. taking this up and getting it out. So I think that's important. Now, there are a lot of skeptics that exist uh, when you talk about natural food and uh, and it really has become a major industry which is I think uh, part of the danger so right. some people jump on it for the money aspect mm -hmm. and then people want to buy everything when they say it's natural but there is some science to uh, what is being declared in in mainstream media right mm -hmm. um, and uh, even in terms of looking at health organizations internationally they recognize issues of, of uh, certain toxins in your body, um, looking at cancer, looking at how these things may be, I mean, we don't think about what we're putting in. Sure. And there is a balance that is necessary in our body, Homostasis. even yeah. as simple as how much acid versus how much alkaline. I like that. Right? Beautiful. Yeah. You sound like you're an expert at this, man. Right? No. I am happy for that, Marlene. You are doing a good I've job. I've only been she doing health, or health journalism for eight years. She, she understands <laughs> homeostasis to a science. It's interesting <laughs> because when I do consultation with my clients, and I, I, I lead out in the, as the president of the Belize Diabetes Association yes. for the 
Belmopo and, and the surrounding villages. So I get a lot of clients on a daily basis that comes in. And again, diabetes is just a lot of toxicity and fat at the cellar level. Hence, the insulin is not working properly to bring in the sugar into the cell. So as a result of that, when I sit down with clients, I also do a pH test, incidentally. Mm -hmm. Because if your blood or your fluid are acidic in the body, that's the first indication of going down the wrong yeah. path. With you the can have a signal. lot of health challenges after yeah. that. And this doesn't only stand for people who are overweight. You could be slim, trim, but very mm -hmm. sick too. Yeah. That's, a, that's a thing that is in the, in the, in the media too, that if you're slim and you look yeah. good, health is deeper than that. Health is way at the cellular level. So, yeah. but I Even if you mm -hmm. exercise as well, sure. if you are only doing energy drinks and protein and whatnot, and you're um, not getting a good balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. And you cut out all carbs and mm -hmm. your body needs carbs. Right, right. So, so yeah, that's a whole topic by itself. <laughs> where, so but you're right. You're right. Because I've heard you speak about this. And I think fundamentally, all we want people to understand is that it's balancing out all the things that the body needs. You know my daughter, and she should say something because I know she is a quiet one, but she actually is graduating from Fort Farm. She's majoring in what, Gabrielle? Science. Science. And what do you want to do? Because you are part, I brought you here for a reason. What mm. do you want to do with all mm. of this information you have gathered from your parents and school? And tell, tell the public. So in the future, I want to um, open a healthy beverage and food corner. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so, so you make your own smoothies, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so tell me how do you put together the drinks that you want to make at home? Uh, well, we just have a base that is maybe apple or mm -hmm. spinach something like that and it's mostly a detoxifying drink mm -hmm. that cleanses the body and all of the ingredients have their different purpose mm -hmm. helping the body um especially the liver the kidneys and the skin yeah mm -hmm. that is a purifier i like that because those are the eliminating organs and you rightfully said I, you know it's even worse if we don't sweat mm -hmm. This morning we were at the gym because we stayed at the hotel down here and had a gym for in and I met a Jamaican and this is a big topic for Jamaicans right now because there are also a lot of health conscious people over there but yeah. we were talking about the top 10 country, mm -hmm. the top 10 fattest country. Do you know, want to know which country is included? Belize. Unfortunately, we are there per capita and yeah. it blew my mind. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And it's true because I remember a couple of years ago, the epidemiology unit of the Ministry of Health brought out a brochure, obesity. There were yeah. two of them, one and two, and it says six out of every 10 men and seven out of every 10 women yeah. are overweight. And do you know that's a Overweight and obese. obese. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Marlene. And that's the number one culprit. Yeah. So we are trying, the, the reason why we are venturing this, this these these avenues for years having a whole wheat bakery I do yeah. my, um, my 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 naturopathic clinics and she now venturing into probably a pract another practical aspect of it along with some of her colleagues that are graduating they have this plan and I pr wish them the best that they want to get into these healthy drinks Juices and, and yeah. smoothies and even food Great. to try to enhance longevity because that's really what we want to yeah. do we want to live long but we also want to live happy too too yeah long, so long, let's long, let's yes, have Gabby get into showing us how to make a D. You and your dad, of right. course. <laughs> she, sure. She's like, God, I wasn't supposed to do yeah. it. <laughs> okay, so what are we making What and why are these ingredients going to help to detoxify the body? We are making today a green, clean, and lean drink. You like that one? Okay. All right. green, green, clean, 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 and lean. And lean. It serve, it, so it serves more than one purpose. Mm -hmm. And the truth is there, the, 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 some of the top detoxifying foods are right here. Okay. Um, apple, for example, apple is excellent, particularly the green apple. Mm -hmm. The pectin alone helps to motivate and to encourage your liver, which is the main detoxifier in your body. Mm -hmm. So this is like the, the little um, substance they would put in your gas tank with your gas if you your vehicle are not running properly. Okay. So it makes the filter itself in the car does mm -hmm. its job properly. Okay. So this helps the liver, the actual detoxifying our body to function properly. So the, we start off with apples. Uh -huh, we have apples. So like she said, the apple, we always include most of our drinks. We have apple as a base and we also have cucumber. Mm -hmm. We don't use water. We don't use sugar. Yeah. The water, this is 95% water, water, water. Yeah. and the other electrolytes, sodium, yeah. potassium, so there are a lot of micronutrients and phytochemicals, mm -hmm. plant chemicals that are loaded in there. It has antioxidant ability. Today, because we are looking at a general green drink, we have brought some green base. They, we, this we took off our tree yesterday, and this is what? Kalaloo. So we normally right. we do a handful of kalaloo so or green. spinach. Sorry, I'm um, yeah. raining. 
It's so green. It's so green. The, <laughs> and the greenness of that is because of the chlorophyll. That's what you want, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, that's what, that is the cleanser. That's the double D party yeah. of the cell. <laughs> All right? The, I like the, how you put that. Yeah, yeah, you don't have a double D in there. It won't do its yeah. job, right? Yeah. So it's very green. Then we ask, today we are going to use two types of ginger. Turmeric, mm -hmm. yellow ginger yellow as ginger. we know it. Yeah. Very potent <laughs> and Turmeric is becoming the big a thing. big health food it's right a now. Big there are thing. a million and one ways you can use turmeric it's, for it. But what is it actually good for? That's that's what I want. I want us to say that yes, some things are good, but you know you can't think anything is going to be the solve all or the cure all for everything. Their first cousin. This one has in six ginger oil, which is a chemical phytochemical, and this one has in this one having cucumin, sorry, and the actual ginger have the six ginger oil. These are phytochemicals that science have scientists have found that studying these plants that are very good to fight cancer. So they are anti-carcinogenic okay. per se. Yeah. They are antioxidant and they help to fight off these substances that accumulates. Not only that, the, the turmeric also stimulates the liver enzymes okay. that helps with detox. So that alone is a lot to deal with today's program. I did a program last week on a different channel talking about turmeric as an anti-inflammatory agent. Mm -hmm. okay. We know we have a lot of autoimmune diseases. Yeah. Lupus, arthritis, spondylitis, mm -hmm. and all the itis, right? Yeah. <laughs> Inflammatory problems. And this has in substances proven, studies have yeah. shown to help deal with these anti-inflammatory um, in issues. So yeah. you're, you're asking about the sub, and there is a lot of other stuff. There's isothiophene, there's yeah. a lot of other what we call um, flavonoids that are fun. Yes, my rule of thumb, the color more colorful your plate, the more healthier you're eating. Okay. okay. Provided yeah. you're not spray painting it, of yeah. course, right? <laughs> but Eat the, the rainbow, yes, literally. Not the Skittles, but right. in your plate. I like that, I love that. <laughs> that's spinach, all right, that's spinach. Can I ask a question? Why is the spinach in Belize versus anywhere else that you get it so potent? It's very potent. I think we have a lot of good ground soil and we don't have a lot of other issues like some countries has photochemicals, smogs yeah. and all yeah. that. So I think just the, the pure air and the good ground that it is grown in. Uh -huh. And it grows wild, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. it grew, I got these right now from my backyard and I didn't even plant them. <laughs> I didn't plant it. any of these, it's amazing. I, 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 we were talking about farming. We depend on the farmer, but the ground is a natural farmer for us. It grows for us. We just have to go to the backyard and pick them. Okay. Provided we are not spraying around our yard, of course. Yeah. And so we don't want to add chemicals it. So we have our, our ingredients. What All else right. are we doing? So today with this clean lean drink, all right, today we are going to use about a medium-sized cucumber, I believe. We want to use right, Gabrielle? Okay. All right, and we use one apple. I want to add some vitamin C to it. So I'll use about three juices. I see Ooh. everybody's watching and we have to make enough drink, right? We Not only it. that, and people are trying to write that recipe down right, home, so, so we want to get it for maybe them. Maybe about four. This would give about two eight ounce glass, I believe, right? And so we'll have about four oranges. We use one cucumber. We use one apple we use either either i don't probably want to use both but we can we'll use okay. a little handful I, i'm not a fan of spinach that, you can I, use that's, the color fine, that's fine that's yeah. fine <laughs> you're being very honest <laughs> we have an option when we are trying to what we say flavor our we either use mint as a flavoring or we use cayenne pepper in this case i probably use a little bit of sweet pepper it gives it a little sweet and it's gonna be nice i promise you it's not like a bad tasting i'll take your word for it and then i especially would since and the lime? what do we need the yeah. lime for tell the, me the lime, the okay. lime is a friend to, it's nice and it's a good friend for the liver. I use mm -hmm. this in my weight loss program with clients. Yeah. Okay. I talk a lot about lime. As a matter of fact, this, and this is another detox drink. It's a big thing now, the green drink. Yeah. Le Moringa, I coined mm -hmm. the word Moringa with lem, mm -hmm. le, lime, mm -hmm. and, Moringa and, and also the lemongrass. So lemongrass, Ooh, lemon lime, grass. yes, and lemoringa. So it has a nice flavor, yeah. loaded. Mm -hmm. And I have lemongrass also grows wild. Right. We call it fever grass right. in Belize, Basically. right? Basically, and it's loaded with a lot of detoxifying properties. All right. I, I'm not using this today, but I have to talk about beets. The okay. beets is outstanding, and you know what I like about this? All of these stuff, maybe with the exception of apple, are locally grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is beautiful, and we have all of these stuff at the health food store. What um, would you What would you use in your beet? What is beets good for? Beets is a good blood purifier. You ever cut a beets in half? You yes, see I how, have. Right. You look at it. I like this knife, right? Rich. Rich. Very rich. 
And this, we, I have made a lot of juices with carrots and beets to build people's blood. I remember one testimony is here. A young lady was to go into an operation. Her blood was at 7.5. She needed to bring it up to 10. Mm -hmm. And every day I used to carry a pint of blood, literally in the form of <laughs> chemicals. Yeah. It looks just like a pint of blood. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. Yeah. Now, in case people are trying to get all this information down, because we are sharing a lot, mm -hmm. you have a book that you have produced, mm -hmm. uh, Im Improving Your Health with Eight Simple Effective Methods. Mm -hmm. You have an updated version as well right. mm -hmm. uh, that people can be able to purchase to get some of the information that we're talking about here. There, I have a, actually a four weeks detox plan in the new one okay. where you can make one of these drinks per with day. With the details of and how so to make a, the drinks. That's, a, that's an example of some of the drinks. Probably kale is seasonal, so I al kale is considered the queen of the, the, the greens. Yeah. But if you can get kale, any other green will work. And they grow kale in Belize now. Yes, yeah. yes, organically grown. And I'm yeah. glad you brought up that point. We, we actually, I'm a part of a pro-organic um, produce association in Cayo. Mm -hmm. And they bring in, <coughs> sorry, they bring in these um, organic, a box of organic um, plants mm -hmm. based um, food items every week and we pay $30 and there's a variety mm -hmm. of all colorful plants that are grown right here in Belize so okay. we have no excuse Okay, have no it's just acquiring mm. the taste for some it's people. It's not too bad. So um, I'm, I'm going to ask Gabby this and you one, right? Because Gabby, you've you probably one. been forced to eat healthy food your entire life before you had a choice. Meanwhile, you're talking but about the arena. you've now obviously embraced it and are moving towards uh, wanting to share it with other people. When people see you eating green food and green drinks, and I'm sure your friends are having soda and juices, what do you tell them? It's healthy. Uh -huh. It's a better choice. Yeah. Um, at school, they are, they love to see it. It looks nice, but they are afraid to taste it. Uh huh. But um, it keeps me healthy. Yeah. Do you feel better when you drink yes. it? Yes. Yes, yeah. mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been able to convince any of your friends to try it? Yes, mom. Uh oh. She has been very convincing. She has two of her classmates graduating, and three of them up. Apparently, are planning to venture into this. Mm. So I think one of the things is that it starts from home, though. Yeah. Right from right? home. Because right from home. Because to be health conscious, your parents, in a sense, would have yeah. to be health conscious That's enough true. to be able to share with you what the benefits are. I yeah. And I, I, I would imagine that it's rather challenging or difficult as a child having to have an orange juice when your friend is drinking a red Fanta mm -hmm. or, or an orange Fanta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm convincing them that you know what this is actually a better yeah. option than the actual carbonated drink that is true and i like what you said though because when you share knowledge from a child from ch they, they normally say it's the first seven years of a child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is where you form character and everything else so mm -hmm. um if you don't get them there more than likely you're going to miss you want you want to help me Ms. yeah <laughs> so you're going to talk and work at the All same right. time because we're going to run out of time yes but um you give me the squeezing job and i'm, I'm the weakest sorry. i'm sorry i'm so actually <laughs> i'm just it. giving you some aerobic exercise right <laughs> work out those yes right, yes right, hold on. let me help you marley i think so you're uh, much faster at this than no, i am go ahead squeeze but this is important mm -hmm. um that we train the children up in the right way. And even our schools, I think mm -hmm. now there are some initiatives being taken from the, min the Ministry of Education point of view, yeah. whereby they are trying to implement back this whole you reap concept, you know, the yeah. urban rural educational agricultural program. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, with economics and everything, it's just gonna be beneficial for the nation anyway. If we they did speak about, actually earlier in our show, about getting people to schools to implement Gardens mm -hmm. once again. Mm -hmm. You have the, the backyard gardening as well. Yeah, sorry. That I, I think goes hand in hand with the idea that, that you want to be able to cultivate small produce that you can use at home mm -hmm. that are healthier as options than okay. other stuff that is produced or manufactured that is canned, for instance, or mm -hmm. preserved. Yeah. Right, and then that's another point because that we have all these benzoates and mm -hmm. sodium nitrates and other chemicals unfortunately that you know you're preserving the food it's amazing how you can preserve food for such a long time yeah. but it's not the best because you have a lot of chemicals that your body have to fight against mm -hmm. and we're lucky in Belize because a lot of the things that we need are right here right here that's exactly. a good point that's a good point. So I'm growing. like there's no need to purchase imported orange juice mm -hmm. if you can get you can make your own for one mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Very good. So All do right. we need to squeeze lime as well? 
Um, I'll just get a pinch of the lime so that it doesn't get, I don't want it to be strong. And then okay. you just shake this up, Marlene. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a little messy because we are not by a sinker, so that's well, the unfortunate yeah. thing. Okay. And then we are going to. Thank you. So we have quite a bit of orange juice About here. About three already, oranges. Right? Mm -hmm. And there you saw it freshly squeezed. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a neutral bullet, I'm using a neutral bullet today. You can use a typical blender. A regular blender would uh -huh. work. And 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 even so. Um, some people would drink this as a smoothie or some people would drink it as a juice. I guess if you sieve it properly after it's um, done with the pulverizing process in the machines, mm -hmm. you can decide what you want. Because some people don't like stuff that is a little bit too thick. But if you understand the health benefits, you don't mind. One thing I'm sure, when you're sick, you're going to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have so a choice then. Right. So, <laughs> so that's the whole cucumber we put in there with the skin. And that's what you're getting at in terms of straining mm -hmm. or... Mm -hmm keeping mm -hmm. the skin on right normally we want to wash these properly just in case they might have chemicals on them right yeah and we've washed them right mm -hmm. <laughs> yes we have so we got cucumbers a green apple four oranges mm -hmm. and put, we um we want to maybe we can put this into the kalalo mm -hmm. All right, so the orange juice is for flavor, you said? It's for and flavor vitamin and vitamins, right. right. So you want to build the immunity in the cleansing process. Okay. So, so the that's green has in the chlorophyll that really is the one that does the... The detoxifying. Yeah, so does the apple too, the right? The apple is detoxifying mm -hmm. and fiber? Fiber, a lot of fiber. Okay. You're, you're good at this. And cucumber? A lot of water and minerals. Right. You see why Gabriele we probably will have to send a sell a drink for five dollars, right? Because <laughs> it's a lot of work too, it's right? A lot of work, it's, right? A <laughs> it's a little bit of work, but you know. And there's a difference between something that has a lot of water or fillers versus a mm -hmm. fully natural drink. And mm -hmm. this is a fully natural drink. Mm -hmm. And then let, now that's let's one I haven't seen in a juice before. This you, is you have to tell me why we're putting this in. Well, you know sweet pepper is also loaded with vitamin C, but this is just a little trick to give it a little kick. Oh, <laughs> the I trick to the kick. I am going to, to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> or you can put in cayenne pepper. You yeah. know, for me, like cayenne pepper. I, moringa is my baby, as you're aware. So I got to put in moringa. A, a, a shake without moringa is like a day without sunshine. Right? It's, like a day, it's like a day like today. This is yeah. also the, another big trending health food mm -hmm. that's been around for a long um, time. All the shows, that yeah. for all show, all of these shows are promoting this. Now, Cornelia, you'll remember this because you're, you're from the West. Uh, mm -hmm. The forage has been selling. The, mm -hmm. I remember getting my mom right. a moringa plant. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it could have been 15 years ago mm -hmm. because yeah. they were selling the seedlings because they knew the health benefits. Yes. But everybody else has found out that it's very good for you, and now you want to get it. It's a little bit better. So your food, your medicine, right? Yeah. Your medicine, your food. Wow, that's it. With the kalalu, the moringa. Mm -hmm. No water. No water, no sugar. Yeah. Is this gonna taste good, Gabby? <laughs> I don't know. Some people might want okay. to acquire the taste. I'm, I'm acquiring the taste. Okay. What do you taste the most in it? Apple. Apple. Oh, well, apple. if it tastes like apple, I have no problem. This is just do. This is just give it a nice strong bottle. Um, you notice one of the first drink I use pineapple. I find yeah. pineapple to be a, especially if you get a sweet pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Right now, one of my best seller is the pineapple with the orange and the, um, the cucumber and ginger. Okay. It really tastes nice. Really tastes nice. You put the, the, the ginger or the uh -huh. turmeric in? Both of them. Okay. A little piece though, because turmeric is very strong. Uh huh. I know I use a lot. Ready? Mm. <laughs> so let's be honest. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are looking at this and saying, I don't know about that. You're saying, what on earth? <laughs> and, <laughs> Actually, yeah, we kind of have those thoughts, yeah. too, right, Isani? But this is what everybody feels, and that's why we are going to do fearful mm -hmm. of trying it. I'm going to do it in the juice form, and then I'll let you drink it in the smoothies form. Okay. Now, so you when have you have clients, mm -hmm. how do you get them to jump in and try it? Well, you know, 
detox is part of weight loss and we have a weight issue in the country so a lot of people are right. willing to try anything to put down the weight because with the weight comes a lot of other issues, yeah. a lot of health issues. Let me let you taste this one first. I don't even know if it's going to be nice. But you uh, don't know <laughs> if it's going to be nice? <laughs> and this one, I'm going to get in and it tastes your feet. <laughs> I see you jump out a plate and all kind of things. So if you can so do I that, can drink yes, yes. juice. All right, great. So one, two, three. Here we go. Cheers to the Easter holiday that just passed. So she got it down straight down. You check that out. It's good. It's very good. I taste the orange more mm -hmm. than anything else. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I taste the cucumber. You want it in the smoothest form or the juice form? Bring it on. Bring it Either on. Way. All right, let's, let, right. let's go to the <laughs> other way. Now, Maybe I need it more than, than Marlene. <laughs> people would drink this like for an evening meal. This is like a meal replacement shape. It's and, good. It's and, very refreshing. Yeah, and you could put raisin or something. Okay, mm -hmm. let's. you, you yeah. want it left side up now? No, well, I'll, I'll right. try it. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I can assure you, I can, let me start to share a testimony. I, I, I did a whole one right? month. Wait, let's get your reaction. What is it? It's, that one is a little thick. The orange. You taste the orange dominant. Yeah, the Which orange is, good. Is, is pretty, it's there. Let me, let me say that. It's, I, you I get, get some that. green. Mm -hmm. You have a flavor it's, of green in it. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's an acquired taste, like you right. said, but... Um, and you could put some raisin or something mm -hmm. in there to give it a little sweetening if you're... Not so really. check this out. Uh -huh. If beer and gin and the other stuff are also acquired taste, right. then I should be able to I think get so this, <laughs> this, right? I think so too. To counter the beer yeah, and the definitely. gin and everything else. You know, the whole world is going green, you know. Mm -hmm. The whole world is going green in all its truth of the name, you know, with the go green thing with the whole climate change mm -hmm. and going back to the green plants. Because we have, if you look at an average plate, in the westernized world, it's very, very plain. It's either brown and mm -hmm. white, or, or it's yellow. pure brown. We don't see colors, and your greens are the ones that really are the uh, detoxifiers. Bring everything together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you're building a house, right, you mm -hmm. need the blocks. Yeah. But you also need the construction workers. So protein, carbohydrates, and fats are your building blocks. But okay. the actual construction workers are your fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables. So if you are only putting in carbs and protein and fat every day and you're not getting your construction worker, you mm -hmm. will have a lot of blocks piling up on you. Yeah. And you'll begin to grow so and so. Okay. The building need the construction workers. Now I'm, I'm gonna get Gabby's perspective. Tell me your favorite shaker smoothie that you make. What's your, what's your favorite combination? No, what you The what? Because these are the ones what's that I What's your favorite for. one? From these or? Yeah, what from we, these what or we, whatever. What we do at home. Well, personally, I like the watermelon one. Mm -hmm. what's, what does it have? The lemon melon. It has lemons, apple, um, watermelon, okay. and kale leaves. Mm -hmm. And kale. Lemon melon. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. Lemon melon. Well, you gave us one recipe, and there's many more. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many more available in your book, and also you're very active on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. So, how do people find you? Well, you could. I have a health Facebook, Cornelia New Vision Marfield, mm -hmm. and I also have an active YouTube link. If you for the Diabetes Association, we do a monthly show for years, mm -hmm. and we put it up. Um, it's, you just type in Belize Diabetes, and you see all our diabetes show. And then there's a link on each street and narrow path. You can go on that link, and there's a lot, host of health programs on it as well. Okay. So you know YouTube, you can go at Facebook. Um, my telephone number is six twenty five forty two thirty one. Because somebody will call me after. Of this. course, they six, might start right now. Six twenty five forty two thirty one. And um, I maintain your health is your greatest wealth. Okay. You know? okay. That's the reality. Your health is your greatest wealth, and prevention is always better than prescription. Caution better than cure. So. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. coming in. And this is actually showing one aspect of the work one. you do. Cornelia, Cornelia also has a whole wheat bakery. Mm -hmm. So all the baked goods are made out of whole wheat. And we have not a moringa. It's we, not mixed, right? Um, it's whole wheat. It's whole wheat. And yeah. we have a moringa. We have actually a moringa bread. Wow. And we started to do a whole wheat tortilla. It's one of our new yes. inventions. And we have a, a multi-grain bread. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you can mm -hmm. also find out where you can get those products as well. And we put these, Thank you the both. tea bag and stuff yeah. then the morning we put them at the health food store because people are way here in belize we are in belmopan if we get right at santa stairs health food store health food store oh, that's mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. thank you as well gabby yeah, for joining us and best of luck we look forward to your your juice corner yeah. um and we'll, i'll definitely be a regular okay. uh, visitor so mm -hmm. you can get going on that but mm -hmm. thank you once again we have to go ahead mm -hmm. and take our final break and when we come back we'll have our wrap up so stay tuned